Hi there guys, this is a quick uh, look at this uh, power pack jump starter uh, from a brand called uh, Maypole. Um, I've uh, been using one of their cycle racks for a number of year, which, years, which fits on the back of uh, your car, bolts onto where the tow hitch goes at the back and it's been quite good, very sturdily made. So. Um, when I uh, was uh, looking for one of these jump starters, I thought, well, I'll, I'll try out this uh, Maypole brand um, and uh, I'll uh, let you know what I think. But we'll just run through all the features first. So um, to charge it up when it arrives, uh, you've got a kind of standard um, low voltage connector here, the type you have on any kind of power adapter. You plug that in there and when you do, the um, charging the charging indicator light on the front will come on, um, which shines out red. Um, and when it's fully charged, this green light here goes on. Um, so this has got a number of features. O initially, I ordered a, a more basic um, pack, which just had, which was literally just a jump starter. It just had the um, the clips, uh, a big switch on it. And, and that was about it. This one has a number of different things on it. So it's got a U USB charging point, which is sort of handy, I guess. Uh, you switch that on here, and the light indicates to say that it's been switched on. If you don't switch it off, then it will run the battery down. Um, it's got a uh, light, um, which is just uses some sort of old school LEDs, but there's six of them in there. It's quite bright, good enough for doing all sorts of things, really. Um, say you were using this in the dark, and it would be plenty to um, plenty to light that up while you were getting your car started. Um, but whether it would start the car or not, we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, this button here when you press it um, it's meant to light up um, these LEDs here to tell you whether you need to recharge or not um, charge status indicators oh, internal battery status anyway that's broken that doesn't work I'm not sure if it worked when it turned up for a while or and then stopped but uh, that's not great um, I should point out this I've only used this once and it's and it's a week old so that hasn't lasted very long at all you've got two 12 volt ports here the time you type you might have for your um lighter socket on your car that type of thing uh, so you can plug in various things there um now all these extra connectors here this these ones here where you might plug in lights or extra usb charging gizmos and the usb charger thing here um that's all well and good but this the, this the battery inside here is very lightly a, a sealed lead acid battery and they they really don't like being run flat so the problem is with using all these things is that you might plug in something here to charge it up say macbook iphone something like that um and then you're running your battery down past 50% of its capacity which isn't very good it will shorten the life of the battery and if you run it right down say you were to leave it plugged in or switched on and forget about it then you'll probably ruin the battery inside so there's not really such a great thing to have on a on a piece of equipment with um, a lead acid battery in it because they just really don't like being run down too far um, so um, You've got the clips on the side. These are quite nicely done. They all kind of um, wrap around the bottom and uh, to keep the leads tidy when you're not using it. And then you just clip them back on there. So that's nice and simple. When you're ready to go, you just switch this big switch here, clunk. And um, that means these two clips now are now live. Um, just switch that off again now. And so you would clip those on your battery terminals. Now I used this the other day. I left my light switched on on my car uh, I've got a 1.9 diesel uh, Volkswagen car. This is this is apparently rated for 2.5 liters, um, 
uh, engine size uh, and so I connected up I waited about five minutes for the charge to balance and turn the ignition and although all the lights came on and uh, on the dashboard and there was obviously getting power there wasn't enough um, ampage coming out of this thing to actually turn the engine over so you could hear it trying to turn the engine but it didn't turn it which is the whole point in having it so what I did in the end to get the car started was I left it connected up to the battery I made sure it was wedged in a in a place where it wouldn't fall over inside the engine compartment and then I put the car in reverse rolled it down a hill backwards and um, jump started it uh, whilst this was connected um, and that the combined two made it work but I was a bit disappointed really because I've used these before when I borrowed them from garages and stuff in the past and they just you just clip them up and they work first time so either this one's got a faulty battery or it's just not very good so really quite a disappointing purchase purchase overall and all these extra things oh, I forgot to mention it's got a um, tire whoa tire inflator on the back here um, you take the little uh, thingy gizmo out of here to blow your tires up but again you know this sort of thing here if you over were to overuse that and run your battery down then you're just damaging the battery and 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 defeating the whole object of having the thing which is something that works well when you need it so in summary it's got a load of extra gump on it that you don't need and will probably end up unless you're very strict and organized it will probably end up damaging the, the battery because you'll leave something switched on it will run it down um, past 50% discharge and then that won't do shorten the life of the battery and then it, it doesn't have enough cranking power to start a moderately sized diesel engine and it's obviously not very reliably made because some bits are already broken so it's kind of a literally one or two out of five rating isn't it really but anyway there you go I would probably avoid buying this to be honest and perhaps buy something from a decent brand like Sealy or something like that or if you're a bit technically minded you could probably make your own with like three um, high power headway cells which is what I'm wishing I'd done now um, but um, but there you go um, oh one other slight annoyance is that um, the the pressure gauge is only marked in PSI and you know if you're using it for car tires in the UK uh, then everything's marked in bar so you have to do some conversions before you can use it so anyway there you go anyway I hope you found that useful I probably wouldn't buy this if you're looking at it and uh, yeah cheerio thanks bye